download and install JD-GUI tool. So in this video what we are going to learn, first of all we will learn about what is JD-GUI tool and then how we can use JD-GUI tool to perform reverse engineering. So first of all uh, we need to download JD-GUI tool from internet and uh, then I will show you that how we can use it. So open google.com. So guys we are here at google.com and on google you can type download jd-gui tool and hit enter so you can see here that these all are the links available so you can open up this link or you can use softpedia link to download this tool here it is so this is called java decompiler right so because we already have java file in the previous video we have converted apk into jar file so we have java file now we can decompile this java file to get the source code right so you can see here that about jd-gui that jd-gui tool is a stand alone graphical utility that displays java source code of dot class file so basically it converts that file into the source code you can browse the reconstructed source code with the jd-gui for instant access to methods and fields so you can see jd-gui looks like this you can click on downloads and you can download jd-gui tool otherwise you can also use softpedia link to download it so you can click on this 1.4.0 jar file or you can use this one for windows so you can also click on jd-gui windows 1.4.0 this is a zip file right so you need to download this file because we are doing it for windows operating system so that's why you can click on this one so guys uh, we have downloaded jd-gui windows.zip file and you can click on this file to open the files inside it so this is jd-gui windows double click on it and here you can find .exe file this is an application file so you can double click on it and run this file so this is here this one here it is so you can see here that this is called java decompiler and uh, by using this tool you can uh, open the source code files from jar files jar means java files so we already have a jar file here it is so you can see here that we have converted ig.apk into ig.jar file so you just need to drag and drop this file inside this tool to open the source code file so let me just drag and drop this file here so here you can see that it has automatically opened these files inside it you can see here com dot learner file so you can find out all the activity whole files here so okay, when you, for example if we are working on lesson 2 activity so you click on lesson 2 activity and uh, here you will get information about the code so you can see here that we can easily uh, see the code and we can easily analyze this code uh, by using jd-gui tool so that's why jd-gui tool is really important to analyze the code okay so now the task was that you need to find out the file inside the source code uh, so let me check if there is any file available or not so you can see here that in this function you can see here that private string get file name right so you can see it is returning get date get phone number and dot txt right so i think uh, this is the file which we need so you can see here get date get date means so when you click on get date so this is get date get date in the form of yyy mmgd it means your current date and uh, get phone number so how you can get the phone number you can get the phone number by using your android application so let me show you so this is the android application now you can go to the home again uh, you can click on your settings of your phone settings right Just click on system and uh, you can search here about phone so this is phone number click here so here is your phone number one 
triple five five two one triple five four. So this is the phone number which we got. So get we got the date, we got the phone number, and then you just need to add dot txt after that. So this is the file name which we got using JD dash GUI two. So our task is completed. We got the we got the file. We got the information inside that file, and we have date. We have phone number, and you just need to append with dot txt after that. So this is all about the reverse engineering process using text to jar tool and gd dash gui tool and we have successfully completed reverse engineering because we got the source code file from apk file so that's all about the task if we talk about the section summary then in this section we have covered first of all what is reverse engineering and uh, the task information then what are the tools available inside this section that we are going to use like dex to jar and jd dash gui and finally we have seen that how we can analyze this source code file using jd dash gui tool and how we can find out the this that secret file so this is all about this section and i hope you have enjoyed in the next section we are going to learn about android pen testing break in encryption in android thank you so much